Welcome to World History with Mr. Giese. In this episode, we will be discussing what advances in technology emerged during the Industrial Revolution. We will be answering the following questions. How did electric power affect industry and daily life? What advances in transportation occurred during the Industrial Age? What were the advances in communication and how were they achieved? Before we start discussing electric power, let's recap what type of power was being used at this point. We started by looking at factories and their need of water to provide power and then progress into coal and then steam. This allowed factories to be placed in other areas rather than being close to a waterway. So how did we get to a point where we use electricity as our main source of power? We know that there were people experimenting with electricity like Benjamin Franklin, but being able to harness it was something that escaped everyone until Michael Faraday started to notice the connection between magnetism and electricity. He developed the dynamo that generated electricity by moving a magnet through a coil of copper wire. Once he perfected this, others started to improve on his creation. One of these men was Thomas Edison. Through hours of work and trial and error, he was able to create a light bulb. He was able to create many other inventions like the generator, motors, and light sockets. And this led to making utility systems for entire cities. Because of Edison's work, factories no longer had to rely on steam engines to power machines. Factories no longer had to depend on waterways to power their steam engines. And finally, factories working hours were no longer limited by sunlight. They had electricity and light bulbs and factories could stay busy late into the night. When it comes to transportation, coal and steam were still the main energy sources. In the early 1800s, long distance transportation was dominated by boats. As the technology for steam engines continued to improve, trains began to replace boats. Trains could carry heavier loads and traveled faster than boats. Railways started to span across Great Britain and by 1840, the US had about 3,000 miles of tracks. Once the Bessemer process was developed, the process of making steel stronger became cheaper and more efficient. The amount of steel being produced then increased. With that increase, 30,000 miles of track would be placed in the United States moving further west. Now products could reach all parts of industrialized nations faster than before. Another piece of transportation that benefited from the techniques of the assembly line and other technology was the Model T. Before, automobiles were for the elite few. It was difficult to produce cars and was very costly. However, Henry Ford had the idea of making a car for everyone. He utilized the assembly line to efficiently and cost-effectively make the Model T. The automobile was no longer an expensive item. They were reasonably priced and became a necessity for people and travel. The final piece of technology that we'll discuss will be in the area of communication. Communication was often written and then mailed. This was time consuming and you'd be reading about an event that happened weeks ago. With Samuel Morris and the telegraph, messages could be sent across telegraph lines. People used this to conduct business and transmit news. Wires were set up next to railroads as they stretched from coast to coast. As time went on, so did technology. Telephones were created to communicate, but the technology was, again, limited by wires. Soon radios were used to transmit news. This cut down on the delay of news and brought entertainment into homes. Radios did not need wires, but transmitted their signals using electromagnetic waves. As technology increased and more people had more money and leisure time, more people became informed of their surroundings. In the next video, we will take a look at what advances in medicine and science occurred during the Industrial Revolution.